so in today's video we are going to take a look at a concept i have created that i have called reverse prompt engineering so basically what this is is that you take a text or a code or something else that you really like and try to turn it into a prompt that you can use for a more general purpose so we are going to take advantage of chat gpt when we try to accomplish this so i think let's just get started so as you can see here i have created this step-by-step -step template that we can use when we want to do some reverse prompt engineering in chat gpt so let's just start off by step number one here so we are going to prime the model now that's why we are going to use this step can we talk about reverse prompt engineering by reverse prompt engineering i mean creating a prompt from a given text so let's copy that and head over to chat gpt and in my new chat gpt plus let's just paste that and hit submit Okay, that was step number one done. Let's take step two. So that is just gonna be great. Can you give me a simple example of reverse prompt engineering? Again, let's just paste that and submit. So now you can see the model is starting to understand what we mean. So you can see here, like given the text, I went to the store and bought some milk. The reverse of that is gonna be write a sentence about going to the store and buying something, right? So let's just prime it a bit more. So now we want to grab this good, write a short explanation on how dog training works and reverse prompt engineer the explanation. So let's paste that. Okay, that's good. Let's move on to the next step. And that is just going to be great. Can you create a very technical reverse prompt engineering template? Paste that. Okay, so that is it. Now our model is primed. So now it's ready to take some real text that we want to convert into a prompt. So now let's take a look at the first thing we want to reverse engineer. So that is going to be reverse prompt engineer the following text. So here we have text in curly brackets, right? And you can see here we have text equals. And we're going to capture the tone and the writing style of the text to include in the prompt. So here I have text equals and I just found some Obama speech online. Let's just grab all of this and take this over to ChatGPT. So again, we're just going to paste this and hopefully now we can get a prompt that we can use to regenerate this kind of text. As you can see here, it just says given the text. So here basically repeats all of the, the input text. And here we have our reverse prompt, right? So write a speech reflecting on the challenges facing the country, acknowledge the sacrifices of past generations and calling for a renewal of ideas and spirit of the nation. The tone, that's good, should be humble, grateful and mindful of the responsibilities of leadership in times of crisis and the writing style should be formal and elevated. Perfect. Now we are of course going to test this prompt. So I'm just going to copy this now, open a new chat GPT window and see what kind of result we can get by using this prompt. Now let's paste this prompt into a new chat GPT window. Okay, so that was our speech complete. I kind of think it filled out all our parameters that we wanted. So it has this uh, good formal style and it has this humble and grateful tone, I think. I'm not going to read all of this, but it starts like, ladies and gentlemen, as we gather here today, let us take a moment to reflect. And we have this conclusion. Let us be grateful for the sacrifices of those who came before us and worked towards a better future for all. So I think you kind of nailed that. So that's very good. Now I want to do some different examples to see how this works there. So the next example I want to run is can you reverse engineer the following product description in curly brackets, capture the writing style and the length of the text. So here we just have product description equals. So let's head over to Amazon and grab our product description. So here we just have some iPods. Let's say oh, I like this product description. So let's just copy that. Go back here and just paste it here. Now let's copy all of this prompt and go back to ChatGPT. And now it's important that you go back to the window where we have already primed the model, right? So let's paste the prompt here and click submit. So here you can see we get the given text. So here is our product description. So here we get the reverse prompt. So that's going to be describe the feature and benefits of a product, including details. But this is very specific, right? We have the length and we have the writing style, but now we want to rewrite this into a more general uh, product prompt. So then we're just going to go rewrite the reverse prompt into a prompt that can be used for any product description with a user input feature that uses curly brackets. So let's try that. 
And then you can see we end up with this prompt. Describe the features and benefits of a product name product, including the details of the fit, control, charging options. Yeah, you get the point. So now I want to try to run that prompt over in a new window. Now the prompt is just going to be describe the features and benefits. And in the curly brackets product name, we have product name equals, let's say iPhone 12 and hit submit. And there you have it, what I would say is a pretty good description of the iPhone 12. So we have their features, you can see here we have our benefits, we have our fit, controls, charging options, battery life. Yeah, kind of everything you need for that. So I think that turned out pretty good. Now let's go for another example of reverse prompt engineering. So let's just try something simple. Let's try this. Can you reverse engineer this Excel formula? So let's take that. And of course go back to our prime window, just the edit button and click submit. So here you can see the reverse prompt of this is write a formula in Microsoft Excel that calculates the average of values in cells C2, C3 and C4. Okay, so that's all good. And now we can just go rewrite the prompt into a more general prompt for any formula in Excel with a user input in curly brackets. And here you can see we get the prompt, write a formula in Microsoft Excel that calculates the desired outcome using the values in cells. And here we have the cell range and the references. So let's just copy that, head over to a new window. And then we can go, let's say, write a formula in Excel that calculates, so we have the desired outcome that is gonna be a median number using the values in cells. So we have cell B2, 3 and 4. So let's click submit. And there we have it. So now we have the formula to calculate the median number by using the cell values is equals median B2 and 4. I think that worked out pretty good. So you can always change your desired outcome here and you can change the cell number and you probably will get a different uh, answer here. So the next example I have is can you reverse engineer the following job posting? Capture the writing style, details and the length of the text and include it in the prompt. So we have job posting equals. So let's just go grab a job posting somewhere. So I found a job posting example. I really like that. I like the format. I like the structure. So let's just copy that. Head back here and paste it in here. Now let's grab all of this and take it over to ChatGPT. And again, we go back to our prime window, right? Paste the prompt, click submit. So here you can see it suggests write a job description for a teller position at a community bank. Include details on the company culture, a day in the life as a teller and the qualifications required to be a teller. Use a conventional and informative tone and aim for length of approximately 150 to 200 words. That is good, but now we need the prompt to be more general. Then we can just go rewrite the prompt into a prompt that we can use for any job posting. So now we get back basically the same prompt. The only thing is that we have a job title here in curly brackets and we have a position at company name. So let's just grab this now and head over to our new window. And in the new window, let's just type all of this and then we go company name equals Apple, job title, CEO. Good luck with that. And there you have it. Here you have a job posting that you can use for any type of jobs you are hiring for. You can just change out the job title and even a company name. So I'm not going to read through all this. If you want to read this, just hit pause. So let's have a look at one final example. And that is going to be reverse engineer the following HTML code in brackets into a prompt. HTML code and here you can just paste any HTML code you really like. So let's grab all of this, go back to our prime window and just hit submit. And here you can see we get the reverse prompt of this HTML code is going to be create an HTML code for a header section of a website that includes a logo and links to the home, contact and about pages. Now I want to do a final test and that is try to reverse engineer a very complex type of code. So here I just changed up the curly brackets to code to code. This is a JavaScript code. So the program is to shuffle a deck of cards and you can see here it's a bit more complex than our last example. So let's try that. So here we get the suggestion, write a program in JavaScript that shuffles a deck of cards and displays the first five cards after shuffling. So let's copy that and head over to a window and see if that is correct. Paste that here and run it. Okay, so here we have our code. Uh, to test this, I just wanna rewrite it into HTML. 
Okay, so that was done. Let's copy that and head over and test it. So let's paste it in here and click run. Yeah, first five cards after shuffling. Nine of clubs, king of clubs, seven of spades. So let's run it again. Yeah, we get something different. Yeah, perfect. I think that turned out pretty good. So yeah, very nice. So hopefully this video gave you some inspiration. If you want to know more about prompt engineering and generative AI, you should check out the links in the description below to my newsletter and to my YouTube membership where I have over 30 members only videos now. Also check out the video if you enjoyed this one. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.